Bing Crypto here. Today we're going to be talking about a free-to-play, pay-to-earn game called Riot Racers. Within Riot Racers, you're going to actually be able to own part of the game yourself and earn Riot tokens as you play, which is the game's currency. You're going to be able to purchase drivers, cars, gas stations, racetracks, billboards, and even mechanic shops as NFT assets on the Polygon blockchain, so you don't have to worry about those gas fees which I'm sure is one thing we can all appreciate. You can also find them on OpenSea as well if that's your thing. Taking a look right quick at the NFT OpenSea marketplace for the Riot Racer cars, you can see that they have 11.2 items, 1.4K owners, and a floor price of 0 0.108 with 920 as the total volume traded. As a car enthusiast myself, I can really appreciate the concepts they've come up with and some of the styles that they've modeled their cars after. Taking a look at the drivers here on the OpenSea Marketplace, you can see there are 11.1 .1 items total, 1.6k owners, a floor price of 0 0.056, and 224 volume traded. And I don't know, tell me what you guys think about these guys in the comments. I'm kind of on the fence about it, I'm not going to lie. Taking a look here at the Riot token on CoinMarketCap.com. We have a market cap of 6,459,170, a volume of 27,368, and a total max supply of 250 million. To play the game, it's fairly simple. Just connect your Web3 wallet of choice, select the race based on the class of cars you own, review the race conditions, choose a car and driver. There are different cars and drivers that you can either rent or buy. Uh, the drivers have different abilities that make them stronger than others, so obviously if you have the best car and the best driver, you're probably going to win every race. Uh, if you're looking for some passive income making these Riot tokens, this might be the answer for you. After you're done picking your car and driver, you pay the entry fee, which is the gas for your car using the in-game wallet. Then it's fairly simple. You just sit by, wait for the race to complete, and view your results after. Winners of the race will receive a portion of the prize pool, which is made up from the gas fees for that race. First place is going to bring you in 50% of the prize pool. Second place, 30%. And third place is going to bring you in 20% of the total prize pool. Winnings are paid out in Riot tokens, which you can then exchange for your favorite cryptocurrency if that's what you want to do. If you want to own a racetrack, you can rent out billboard space within the game. Um, for advertisements if that's what you're into and by owning mechanic shops you get a percentage of the upgrade fees gas stations you get a percentage of the gas fees which I thought was pretty cool and I really like the direction they've been going with this game I see a lot of long-term utility in the future so if you guys want to check out Riot Racers yourself I'm going to put a link in the description I'm also going to put a link to their YouTube channel as well every time they upload they give a pretty solid update and a good little trailer of what is to come next for you guys. For those of you who have joined the party early and have already checked out Riot Racers, please let me know how you like it in the comments. I'm interested to know what you guys think about it as well. That's going to wrap it up for the video tonight. As always, don't let me or anybody else tell you what to do with your money. This is non-financial advice, and I will catch you guys on the next one.